<laughs> what is that? It's like gung ho. What's up, baby? YouTube, what's going on guys? My name is Gray. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Volk, how to get a gold, what attachments to use, what modes to play, and of course, my personal loadout that I used while getting it gold. Overall, the Volk was an absolutely fantastic gun to use. I had a lot of fun with it, as well as the other ARs. Um, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. Actually, wait, we have a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by none other than Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet is absolutely redefining the way the modern day wallet is used. Their sleek design can hold up to 12 cards and have room for cash. It's extremely durable and also has a lifetime warranty. If you decide to pick one up and don't like it, you can absolutely return it for a full refund. The team over at Ridge is absolutely confident that once you switch, you will never go back to your old clunky wallet. If this video makes you want to go pick up any of their gear, whether it's their wallets, their backpacks, you name it, um, make sure to hit the link down in the description below, ridge.com slash gray, and also use code gray when you check out for 10% off. Ridge, thank you guys for sponsoring today's video. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed, please take five seconds to just hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. Um, you guys know the deal. Okay, let's break down the camos first. We got pack tactics. This one is just going to be your regular elimination kills. Uh, you need 400 of them. Then you're going to go over to your headshots. You need 100 of those. Then you're going to go over to your predatory ambition kills. These are going to be multi-kills. So anything over two, I believe. Double kills count. Then your reptilian. This is bloodthirsty. So you need 30 of those. Uh, Deadeye, which is long shots. This one was kind of hard because um, it's one of those ARs that kind of shoots quick and bounces a little bit with without the right attachments on. But I ended up doing hardcore for most of the challenges in this. Uh, they actually took out Das House actually as of today the 15th at the time of recording but i was playing bloodbath blitz i think it's called um but yeah you know any short any small map you know uh close gunfight short range things like that then you have berserker this is going to be your close range kills um any close range map is going to do the trick for you on that one Wildcat, which is 10 attachments equipped. You kind of get this as, you know, you're using the gun and leveling it up. And then you have your Survivalist, which is ADS kills with the VDD 287 mil barrel, the 8 millimeter Kurtz 20 round fast mag, and the Krosnik S12 VPS stock. What a mouthful. Holy shit. Um, this one wasn't too bad. It's just ADS kills. Again, small range map, close range gunfights, things like that. This one's going to be 100 kills while moving with the 8 mil Kurtz 60 round mag, the SA converted stock, and gung-ho proficiency. This one was actually hilarious. If you guys saw the intro, I was grinding this specific camo set during that. I was playing Das House and I was using gung-ho, and it was so funny. I could not stop laughing. And then lastly, we have Death Artist. This one's going to be 100 kills without taking damage from the enemy that's shooting at you. With the Krosnik 428 mil barrel, the 7.62 Goranko 30 round mags, and the Perfectionist Proficiency. This one was so satisfying to do because the attachments you have to use actually make the gun have no recoil. It is wonderful. Um, I like using this gun in hardcore specifically because, you know, it's one shot to the head, but around 2-3 to the body overall, it isn't too bad we finally got a gold unfortunately we don't have diamond ars yet but we do have every other gun done um but the stg and the automaton are still bugged as of today last but certainly not least we have my go-to loadout for the volk uh you're gonna have f8 stabilizer as your muzzle the m1930 strife angled as your underbarrel i know people like to use the m3 ready as well that's also a super valuable one or the m1941 hand stop is also great um, then we have the Krosnik 428mm 05B barrel. Uh, this one's going to keep your recoil down while also giving you damage range. The other two are more for like fast paced or like Das House gung ho type things. But um, I just, I always found that I had much more stability with this barrel instead of these other two. And then you go to the magazine, you have the 0.3 Russian short 45 round drum. I ended up putting this on. You actually have to have a super high level to unlock this one. So my second choice would be uh, the 60 round just because you get more ammo capacity, more opportunity to kill um, until you unlock, of course, the last one. This is going to make the gun phenomenal. 
Um, it's going to give you bullet velocity and range, damage, penetration, and magazine ammo capacity. I also really liked using the uh, Garanko 20 rounds just because I helped with recoil, but I ended up substituting the 45 round drum with the Krosnik S12 PS stock because it fixes it, it, it basically bridges the gap between that mag's recoil and um, not using that mag. So. We use the Krosnik S12 VPS for our stock. It's going to help with recoil accuracy, flinch resistance, and recoil recovery. That was what I found to be the best one. I use Slate Reflector as always, but in hardcore, I really like using the M19 Flip. I think it's a really great scope if you're going for long range. And then we have Granular Grip. I also used uh, Stippled and Fabric a lot while I was grinding the gun. Um, always do ammo type lengthened or hollow point, whichever one, you know, um, you feel more comfortable with. And then for the proficiency, we have perfectionist. This is going to help with recoil. You could also get away with using fleet or sleight of hand and you have to use gung ho for one of the challenges, but perfectionist helps with that recoil. And then you're going to want to do fully loaded. Um, I haven't really found a lot of use for the rest of the kits just because I feel like having more ammo is much more helpful than, you know, like melee range or holding your breath yeah i always use fully loaded just for my sanity please always use fully loaded Alrighty, guys and that's going to conclude my coverage of the volk as well as the assault rifles until they patch the stg and the automaton they have two camos my stg is bugged it has two camos the eliminations and the headshots and then the automaton is still bugged from the assassin proficiency um camo i'm not sure which one it is i can't remember but guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy it Please click a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. Please hit that subscribe button. We're getting as, like I said in the beginning, we're getting as many views on our videos as we have subscribers. And that is good and also really fucking bad. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It's Bunny Boy Gray, and I'm signing off. Peace.